So here's a quick Magix Movie Edit Pro tutorial on how to use the audio function to customize your audio objects on the timeline. So first let's get out of this storyboard mode which is this one and get into timeline mode. So I'm going to click this icon. There's timeline. Now I've already loaded in three objects on here. I've got a video object of a crow and then I've got a voice overlay where I'm just talking about the crow and then I've got a soundtrack of some music that we made up and uh, let's go ahead and play it and just hear what it sounds like the common black crow can be found worldwide in people's yards so it's got talking it's got music and uh, video as well so now we just need to customize a little so everything's balanced. So let's talk about the audio. Let's talk about those effects. Now one thing you may already know is to control the overall volume of the audio you can just use this slider right here. There's a little arrow, up down arrow, you can just control that. Zero means the, vo the volume is normal and then if it goes negative that means less volume, positive is more volume but it starts out around zero okay let's just play it the common black pro can be found the music's kind of loud so what I can do is just bring it down they're very skittish and hard to get close to maybe up a little bit I'm hiding behind something using okay so that's good the voice and the, and the audio of the music is about the same Alright, so I could do that, and that affected the, in, the entire object. It did not affect the uh, entire track. If I want to affect the entire track, I could use this icon up here. This is the mixer icon, and I'm on the third track, so I could just move this slider to affect the entire track right here. If I had more than one audio object, this would affect them all. So that's how you do that. Now let's talk about volume curves. Now with volume curves you need the audio separate. So say you want to affect the audio in this one up here with the bird, I would have to separate that by hitting this little unchain icon and get the audio separate here. But I won't be working on that audio so I'm just going to hit undo. My audio tracks are already separate and I'm going to be working on this one down here with the music that I created. So one thing we can do, of course, like I showed you, is just use this slider. But I'm going to put that back up, say, near close to full volume there. Not full volume, but normal volume on zero. And uh, let's move this cursor back to the beginning. All right, now, one thing we can do to affect the audio as a fade in there's a little handle down here you can just grab it like that and fade it in like that the common black pro can do that at the end too and then you know we can adjust the overall volume of the object here but what if we want to customize a little more than that well what we can do is just right click on the audio object like this and go to volume curve alright now that puts a little line right up here and if you're in effects, audio effects general right here, you will also be able to see a colored thing right here so you can change your line color. Don't know if you can do that down here. Let me see. Uh, no, I don't see a way to change the color there. There may be, but right here all you got to do is click on it and then pick the color you want. Like if I wanted to change it to say green, I could just do that. But how about blue? Let's go with blue. All right. So now we can clearly see it's blue right here. Now, what you can do next is we could remove this fade. And let's just go ahead and put us a little node. See, we can put some nodes along here. But uh, I'm going to start with the first node. Just turn that down. And you'll notice that creates a keyframe up here. It's really not important, but it does create a keyframe. And I could slide that keyframe to the very beginning, or I could have just dragged the node to the very beginning. 
All right, now let's take this node, and that makes our fade in. Now let's make another node right here, and then a one right after it, and then I'll pull that one after it down, and then I'll make another node, and you'll see when that arrow turns black, you can create a node. So I'll pull that node down and slide this one over. Now what I've done there uh, is created some points where I can change the volume of the music. So it's going to come along loud here and then go down when the voice comes in. So I'm going to maybe not have it go all the way down. I'll just bring it part way down. Let's bring it down to right about there. So now when I play it, you can hear the music. The common black crow can and then be the music quiets. In people's yards. And then the music can come back up again right after I talk. So I could put this right like right there. And so the voice goes in, then the music goes low, voice goes out, music comes back up and I could continue that for the next one right here for the whole track. So that's basically how the volume curve works. Now, if we don't want the volume curve anymore, we could just go ahead and uh, get rid of the audio effects. Reset audio effects right here. Okay, so that got rid of the volume curve altogether. It's not even there anymore. The line's gone, everything. Okay, now another thing we can do, instead of using that method, we could use the mixer, but this affects the entire track. But if we bring the mixer up and say we want the third track, so let's turn auto on in the third track. Now we can actually play it. In fact, why don't I just drop it down to start with, like this. Now I'll play it. All right. The common black crow can be found worldwide in I see how I yards. cut the audio. Now we'll bring it back. They're very skittish and hard to get close. Cut the to. audio again, bring it back. I'm hiding behind something using my zoom lens. So I didn't do a very good job, but uh, with a little practice I could do better. So let's just turn off the audio the auto like that and you can see it disappears but if I turn auto back on it'll reappear but we can always start over so let's just go back to the beginning and I'll start playing it again start down here let's see there we go Common black crow can be found worldwide in people's yards. I'll go back up. Down. They're very skittish and hard to get close to. Back up. Down. I'm hiding behind something using my zoom lens on my camcorder. So I still make, messed up a little bit there, but you get the idea how you can use that to control what's going on. Now if I play it again. You can see the, the slider move down automatically on track three. Yards. Now watch it automatically come back up. They're so very it's repeating everything I did. Close to. I'm hiding behind something using my zoom lens on my camera. Oh, so, there you go. It's memorized all my movements. So that's all you got to do to use that. Now sometimes people ask, you know, the mixer. The mixer controls the entire track. What if I want to control individual audio objects? Well, let's make uh, an individual audio object by just using the scissors here. So now I've cut that, and I've cut that. Now you can also reset these track curves that we create with the mixer. Just right click on the audio object. Just right click like that. And then just go to reset track curves right here. And if you reset the volume, you can also do balance, but we didn't do any balance. Uh, that's just left and right effects. But I'm going to do volume. So reset, track curves, volume. And then that gets rid of them. Okay, so now we can control each one individually. We can run these sliders up and down 
and control the volume of each audio object separately. So we can do that. We can also, let's take this first one, right click, we can also do uh, volume curves again if we want to do volume curves by picking that right there. And uh, so that's possible for each individual one. And we can still do the mixer for the entire track. So that's it. I just wanted to show you those tricks with audio. And I hope that helps. You can leave any questions you want under the video. And give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Here, play.